almost springtime and when you see this it actually is the first day of spring so happy spring my friends new seasons new time of life where growth is abounding where sunshine is more abundant and where little minds are ready to be outside and our bodies are ready for the warmth the sunshine and all the changes that that brings so i just want to share a little encouragement today bring you along on a couple days of my homemaking life as a mama of three littles the days are warm and bright in the mornings we definitely spend more time outside all throughout the day really so we're doing just a little learning with sidewalk chalk and then I needed to start prepping lunch so this is kind of a spring inspired chicken salad I used some chicken leftover from the whole chicken I had cooked and then I just throw in some mustard some mayonnaise and my chives are coming up so you'll see I clip some of those and add that in there some salt and pepper and even some eggs because springtime equals abundance of eggs as well so I do have those and it's just a beautiful nice chicken salad to have with crackers or on sandwich loaf that I make and so I thought what better day than on this sunshiny spring-like day to have a fresh chicken salad sandwich This particular homemaking day my husband brought home a Walmart grocery order and in that order I included some flowers they substituted roses which whatever that's okay they didn't have the other wild um, arrangement bouquet that I was hoping for but fresh flowers are great to have anyways this time of year and so I'm just getting some ready one for myself and one for a friend because I don't need all these roses it's fun to share and that just brings so much joy as well in sharing the beautiful things that we can have with other people to enjoy such beautiful vibrant colors that the roses bring to any space and like I said we were outside a lot on this particular day and so getting some fresh air at a park and swinging with all my three littles and just enjoying what I have in this season with three little kids and no it is not always easy I don't always show the clips of the hard times because I don't and I've shared that before but I enjoy just being with my kids and um, whether that's bringing them along with working, whether that's playing with them, but just being part of their lives. And if that's what you're doing in your current stage of life, I encourage you to not feel like you need to do more. I know with all this online world and even myself as a small YouTuber, we often feel like we need to do more. There is nothing wrong with staying home and being a caretaker of the home, of caring for your home, your family, your husband, your kids, and being satisfied with that. So I am getting our sandwich bread loaf um, ready to be baked after we had put in our supper for the evening and it was a French toast bake because it was breakfast for supper and I do share that French toast casserole recipe over on my blog if you're interested in that. But again I just want to encourage you there's days where I feel like I am not enough or I am overwhelmed with how much I have going on. There's just been a lot going on in our lives outside of um, just the family even and so some days I feel like I don't have enough time in the day but I want to encourage you to take one day at a time to just go open-handed to the Lord if you are a believer and say okay I've got this we can't do things on our own and I am telling myself this as much as I am sharing this to you that we need community we need um, the Lord in our lives to help encourage us and to go to with our struggles we need a supportive spouse because days can get long when we are home when we are 
doing the grind day in and day out. And that may be too harsh of the word, but some days do feel that way. And when there's a lot going on and we think of all the busyness that is happening and we see pictures of people who get to go on vacations all the time or their pictures look so curated and calm, you gotta know there's a backstory behind all of that. Anyways, I just had to share this shot real quick of my bread and my candles and my tea and my flowers. And now it's on to a new day because this day we get to go out to a friend's for a little homeschooling morning on a farm. So getting my coffee to go, getting all the kids wrangled up with the car seat and the coats and the coffee and the purse and everything. And knowing, okay, I get to enjoy a little time with a couple other mamas. My kiddos get to play and have a homeschool or just gathering together and it's what I need, a little rejuvenation. And so I wanna encourage you today, just again, to know you've got this, you are enough. view of the landscape as we drive out and then seeing the little ducks on the farm. So I also had to clean our little guest cottage on this day and bring my kids along of course and so you know just sharing a little bit of what days look like. Each day is so different for me as a homemaker and I think that's the joy of homemaking is yes it is monotonous but yes it is so different. There may be the routines, which are wonderful because children need routines. I thrive on routines, but there's also things that vary. And on this particular day, cleaning was one of those. And my oldest was helping me vacuum. She helped me pick up some things that were on the floor and just getting them along with you in what you do as a homemaker and a mama, I think is some of the best schooling you can give them. soaking up some more sunshine in this South Dakota weather right now and also doing a little garden cleanup. I'm not trying to get too antsy because we are still having freezing temperatures in the teens and the nighttime so I don't want to uncover those flowers too quickly but I just hope you're encouraged today to know that you are enough what you do in caring for your home and your family and cooking meals and being part of just a greater good than just ourselves is so important. So I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day, friends. Mm -hmm.